I don't know if you guys heard that, but there's <laughs> a uh, man and woman taking a nice walk because it's beautiful out, and she's talking pretty loud, so let's listen to their conversation. Anyway, so today we got a battle box, looks like a small box here, compared to my hand anyway, uh, <clears throat> and we're using a new knife that I got in trade, this is an Ontario TAC-1, a uh, beautiful knife, this one has a little edge damage here to here. But I have another sharpening system that I'm testing out, so that works out just fine. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, very excited to uh, you know, be testing a cool fixed blade. So we're going to use that today to cut our tape, which is completely unnecessary. Probably cut this with uh, nail clippers if I needed to. <clears throat> but instead, we're going to use this big old knife. Alright, so. Jump into this. Ooh, I see a trail cam. Love me some trail cams. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. The sun's going down. You can see in this photo, but it's actually going down right now. That's why I came outside. It is gorgeous right now. It is perfect. It's like 69 degrees. There's just a very slight breeze. The sun going down, you know, peeking through the trees and the woods here in northeastern Pennsylvania. It is just something special. So, I thought it would be a great time to uh, do a battle box. So we have Mission Breathe 99. All right, so I'm not gonna open this because, well, let's open just the first page quickly, no spoilers. You guys can read that if you want, and I'll refer to that when we're all done. So first off, we got these big old gear ties. These are very cool. Um, the large, large size, these leave it open to all kinds of different things. These are 24 inches each. And there's two of them, and these have these little hook things on the end as well. You can see, you know, wrapping up an actual garden hose. It's nice to be able to slip that through there and actually go back on itself. Here's a, you know, a tarp. You can use this as a, you know, a holder in your, uh, you know, garage, obviously on this pegboard here. I mean, the sky really is the limit with these things. <clears throat> so you can loop, cinch, and then reuse, of course. Now, I do use these. I have multiple sizes. I have yet to have one actually break because inside it's, it's obviously metal. I was always curious if you just kind of work it back and forth, back and forth over, like how many times until it actually breaks? You would think that internally it's getting weaker, but I have yet to break one. So anyway, that's a great start. Then we're going to look at this because one of the first things I noticed, we have a Bushnell. So this is a cellular trail cam, which means that you could get an app on your phone and you can look at it, you know, remotely, which I think is amazing. The only problem is I, I got really excited the last time I got one of these <clears throat> and uh, I did not have service where I wanted to use it. So I don't know about this one. This one's run through a and t This is the A20 model. It does show that first 30 days are free. So they're showing $15 value. So it's obviously $15 a month to have that service. We'll see. I will try this maybe in a different location because I absolutely love the idea of being able to whip out my cell phone or get an alert on my cell phone that something is moving by my trail cam. I think that's amazing. However, I don't want to pay a monthly fee. You know what I mean? Everything's a monthly fee. You know, Netflix and, you know, cellular, you know, service and blah, 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 blah. It's just, you know, 15, 20, 40, 20, 15, 10, 30, 80. You know what I mean? It just adds up. It's just such an expense to have so many different little monthly things. It doesn't seem like much. You're like, oh, it's just 15 bucks, but 15 bucks every month, it adds up. So I love the idea. I hope that if, um, if I don't have service, I can still use this independently. The last one that I had, I got rid of because I was just unable to use it independently so if without service it was not usable so hopefully this one you know you can use whether you have service or not as a regular trail cam let's see so 20 megapixel uh, images hd video best in class uh night range 80 foot that seems uh, like pretty far for night vision <clears throat> um yeah, connected by AT&T, make changes to your phone, data plan starting at $10 on you based on usage. Uh, yeah, we will see. Damn, <laughs> 12 double A's. That's a lot of batteries. Um, I think the other chokins I have, I mean, they all use a ton. I have three or four, like all of the, I have old ones too. I have ones that are like 15 years old that don't work very well and the images suck, but they run from anywhere from four batteries to probably, I think, eight batteries, but I don't, 12 is a lot. But it is what it is. <clears throat> so, yes, we will check 
And by we, I mean me. <laughs> of course, you can just look it up online, but I'll see if I can use this independently or not. All right, <clears throat> but if I can, that would be awesome. Then, ooh, I'm a huge fan of Roaring Fire. I love all of their stuff, their tool rolls and their little gear bags and stuff. <clears throat> so this one we have, see the tag here, Roaring Fire. All right, I forget this model. I believe I have this one. Cordura fabric. I love the color combination. This kind of coyote uh, tan or khaki with that OD green. Very cool. All right, we got the tab in the back. Obviously Molly and stuff. Nice bright inside. These are awesome. I use these. I particularly like these for my uh, vehicle and for my wife's vehicle. <clears throat> so you can load this up with just some basic first aid, uh, you know, pen and pad of uh, paper, you know, a phone charger, spare, everything. You know, it's just good to have spare stuff, especially in your vehicle. And I'm noticing here, which I, I have to say I greatly appreciate, is that because they threw a trail cam in here, they actually did give you an SD card. All right. And one of the reasons why I think this is cool is because these, not just this specific one, but trail cams in general, so many of them have a limit of up to 32 gigs. And because people are using, you know, terabyte, you know, size uh, SD cards, even though these are somewhat cheap, not everyone has these. They don't they have like, you know, 64 uh, gigs or 128 or whatever, and, and all these high capacity, and these trail cams just don't take it. So I think that's awesome. They added one in here. All right, so 32 gig uh, Elite Pro SD card. Very, very cool. All right, what is this? Bleed stop. Stop bleeding in seconds for all minor cuts to severe bleeding wounds. Um, absolutely works for people on blood thinners too. That's actually important to know. FDA cleared safe in the wound, so you can use it internally. Used in hospitals, first responders, keep away from children, first aid necessity. Interesting. So this is a powder. It feels like a very fine powder. Tear package open, pour onto wound, apply pressure. That's it. It's going to be like a blood coagulant. Again, not exciting unless you have a massive wound while you're opening your box. <laughs> which is unlikely, <clears throat> but super, super important. You don't know if this can save your life one day or save a limb. You have some kind of massive injury. You keep this close by, whether it's in your, you know, um, you know, vehicle or if it's at your home or something like that. You never know. You really just don't know what kind of scenarios are going to pop up in the future. People get into massive car accidents. They're unexpected. You have, you know, accidents are just that. They're not expected. Um, but something like this can definitely save you up until you get real, you know, uh, emergency um you know response to that situation so very very cool so that will go with my first aid stuff then looks like there's two two blades in here possibly and this seems like something that may be sharp warning avoid uh danger of suffocation okay you'd have to have a tiny tiny little thing i guess for kids <clears throat> what is this what could possibly be in here Sounds like a chain. Something flat and a chain. Let's see if I can guess. I have no idea. An animal trap? <laughs> I really have no idea. Okay, so there is a chain. Interesting, with some hooks on it. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. Actually, I'm very excited for this. This looks like um, a tripod system for um you know cooking over your your campfire now we'll, we'll make sure i'm right about that but you would get three different you know sticks and you would put those you know crisscrossed or whatever so you make like a tp style thing and this would be able to hold that and then this obviously hangs and can hold, hold your uh, cook bot or whatever you're actually cooking in so that seems very cool so i don't know i mean this might go through the hole in the middle and then sit sideways. So then the chain is just suspended. And of course you can, you know, pick different lengths and stuff. So we're going to check that at the end, but I, that's my, that's my guess. And I'm very excited to say that I'm going to be using that very soon. But that'll be for a whole separate video. Um, all right, so, well, let's look at this first because you can see a picture of what it is on, on the front here. Tactica. This is the K100 pocket knife. Now, so far, I've gotten a bunch of different stuff from Tactica. And they're all multi-tools. I haven't had a dedicated knife yet, so that's kind of cool. Designed in Australia, made in China. So I didn't know that Tactica was an Australian company. That's interesting. So we have a liner lock, 
be um, bearing pivot, um, D2 steel, it's a reverse Tanto thumb stud, knurling for grip. All right, let's see. A nice little presentation. I always like their packaging. Their packaging is very cool. And actually, I love that orange thumb stud. I don't know why I thought that was red, but I kind of dig the orange. I think that's really cool. And I'm getting bit up out here. The bugs like the weather as well. All right, no pocket clip. It's kind of interesting. Big old uh, lantern hole on there, though. All right, kind of a semi-open back there. Very smooth to open. No blade play at all. <clears throat> the reverse Tanto is okay. It's not my first choice for a uh, blade profile, but I think it looks nice. It's fine. Just a little bit of sweep there, a little belly. All right, like I said, just a liner lock. It is smooth. And opening and closing. Like I said, you can flick it out pretty fast. Again, that orange is just a nice little uh, touch there. So yeah, pretty straightforward D2 liner lock. Just a different, different design. I dig it, I think it's cool. All right, so. Last up here, we have this. What is this? This is a fixed blade. Ooh, that's a really interesting uh, design. Looks like a barong, if I'm saying that right. I'm thinking of like an Ed Shemp design. He does a lot of those uh, Asian style knives. He had a bunch of really cool models from uh, Spyderco. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> Ooh, I, I actually really really like this first impression i like the sheath style i feel like we've had something from this company before it's w-i-h-o-n-g-i wahangi wahangi tactical i don't know but it's kind of interesting pocket clip looks a little cheesy and and cheap um i don't know if that's even necessary i, I don't know maybe mount it to something but i kind of dig this uh this wood handle here the mosaic pins are always very cool but this is very rounded and smooth so Let's see. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot, actually. Very nice. The fit and finish is great on the wood. It's almost perfect. But then we have a little bit of gappage with the bolster here. Not the end of the world, but it comes across as a little cheap because of that. The back's fine. Yeah, just this little spot here. That could be literally just this one. You don't know. I don't know how consistent or inconsistent that is, but... I definitely like the uh, the grip. It is super comfortable. Believe it or not, I, I, I'm i almost never looking for jimping on stuff. Like, I don't really care if there's jimping. But for some reason, this one, I feel like a little jimping run from, like, here to here would, would be beneficial. Um, but this is nice and smooth. I like the two little finger uh, choils towards the bottom there. And I overall like the, the profile quite a bit. Lanyard tube there. So if you want to throw a lanyard in this guy, which I'd recommend if you're actually using this hard, you might want to... Have a lanyard on there. Interesting. So just had the logo on the front. And that's pretty much it. Did I mention what uh, blade seal is? The folder was D2. Is this going to be D2 as well? I do not know. We're going to have to check. All right. So, very cool stuff. Very happy with that. Let's uh, see the breakdown here. There's our picture of our, our stuff. Looks like those gear ties might be kind of random as far as, um, you know, coloration and stuff because there's some yellowy green ones here too. All right, so, <laughs> Battlebox camping tripod. Yes, I was correct. So the, the camp tripod, which again, I will probably do a video in the future trying that out. M you know, I'm definitely gonna try it out. I'm not sure if I'll film it. I, I hope to, to film it, we'll see. Roaring Fire Ember Pouch. That's the name of that uh, little gear organizer. Very cool. Bleed Stop, 20 grams, made in the USA. All right. Um, Night Eyes, loopable two packs. So it looks like there's three colors, black, orange, or again, that on the beginning page, it looks like a yellow green, but it looks like it's straight up yellow. Yeah, black, orange, or yellow. All right, then we have the Tactica K100 pocket knife. And then here is the trail cam. Here it is open. You can see that massive battery pack. That is crazy. A lot of power there. Um, and of course, the Pro Plus box has the Survival Edge Garab, and that is in D2. And the handle is pack of wood. So interesting, five inch blade. Um, says now this knife means business and its design is rooted deep in the Filipino knife fighting arts. Um, Survival Edge Tactical was founded in 2006 by former 
full-time police trainer and SWAT operator Jared Wahangi um, in response to requests for his training services by a local Army Special Forces unit. Uh, since then, the company has grown to encompass mul multiple facets of train of knife. I'm making stuff up. Multiple facets of tactical training. I'm kind of like reading ahead here. Um, yeah, there you go. You can read that yourself if you like. But that is it. That is this month's battle box. Very, very cool. I am headed inside <laughs> because in the last five minutes, I think I've been chewed on by uh, 15 mosquitoes. So anyway, very excited to uh, to try this gear. Specifically, um, the uh, the trail cam. I want to see what's going on. The the blood, um, you know, coagulant stuff. That's just going to get stored away. But uh, obviously the knives. I always love playing around with the knives. But this cook tripod. I think this is going to be very fascinating. So I'll probably use that very very soon. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's this month's battle box. Hope you guys. Uh, enjoyed the video hope you enjoy the rest of your day i will continue to test this guy i might see a video on that in the future if nothing else maybe a video on sharpening this edge damage this is just uh it would, the person i got it from got it from a friend and he didn't even know there was edge damage so i mean like the tip here feels like a factory edge the whole edge feels like a factory edge but like right here someone tried to cut something they shouldn't have i don't know what happened here but let me give you a zoom see if you can see this but there's definitely some edge rolling right in here. You'll probably see that. But yeah. It's unfortunate because other than that, the, I mean, the thing looks brand new. It's like it, it, someone took it out of the box and like tried to, you know, cut open a shipping package and hit like a staple or something. You know what I mean? But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll take care of that. I'll uh, maybe reprofile. Well, not reprofile, but I might have to take a little bit of this uh, edge back here. But like I said, I am testing a sharpening system anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just a good candidate for that. So that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.